In this video we're going to have a go at making the Olympic rings in Adobe Photoshop. To get started today we'll make a new document and give it the name Olympic rings. Our profile will be a print one, just one artboard, A4 is our size, landscape orientation, 3mm bleed around the outside and some high quality print settings at the bottom. To begin with today we're going to grab our ellipse tool and choose a blue fill colour with no stroke. We're going to simply hold shift and draw a circle on the page. Once you've done that, I want you to go down to your scale tool. We'll press the letter S for the keyboard shortcut. And just press enter on your page and a dialog box will appear. What we're going to do is type in the uniform scale box 80%. So what we're going to do is make a new circle at 80% of the original size of the other one. And instead of clicking OK, we're going to click on copy today. What that does is copies a smaller circle on top of the big one. If you look in my layers panel, you can see we've got two circles, a big one and a smaller one. What we're going to do now is go to select all, so we've got everything highlighted. And we're going to go to our Pathfinder panel. If you can't find that panel, just go to your window menu and select Pathfinder. And in Pathfinder, while we've got everything selected, we're just going to click on the minus front option. And that minuses or takes away that smaller circle and just leaves the big one behind it. Okay, what we're going to do next is duplicate this Olympic ring. And the way we do that is grab our selection tool, hold down the Alt key, and just click and drag off it. Okay, you want it perfectly in line with the other one. Okay, just a little gap between each of them. Once you've done that, press Ctrl D. Oops and that will bring up your third ring. So we've got three Olympic rings so far, we've got two to go which need to go on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is highlight just these two rings, hold the Alt key again and just drag down. That's going to duplicate those rings for me. And we need to move them around till we just get them in the center. Your guides will show you when you've got it centered. And we'll drop it about there. Okay, so look for the gaps here, you'll have a similar size gap to what I do. When you click off it, you can see that you've got the Olympic rings there, just missing the colours. So what we can do now is put in the colours. The first ring is blue, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Second ring is black, third ring is red, fourth ring is yellow, and the last one is green. Okay, so you can start to see our Olympic rings coming together nicely now. Next step is to highlight everything, or press Ctrl A to do that. Go to your Pathfinder tool again. And this time I'm going to get into the Pathfinder section here and select the Divide option, so that first button there. What that does is cuts up all these little overlaps, so we've all got individual shapes now. And we're going to start to colour these in and make the overlaps work nicely. So it makes the rings look linked. And to do that we're going to use the Direct Selection tool, which is your white arrow. Once you've got that selected, we can go down to these overlaps and start colouring them in. The first one is where the blue and the yellow overlap. You want to colour that in with the same blue that you chose for your ring. Okay, so now it looks like the yellow and blue rings are linked. Next one is the black one. Okay, we need to do the bottom yellow and black overlap here. And just colour that in black. The next one is the green one. Okay, we want to do the top of the green and black just here. We just want to colour that black as well. It's looking good so far. And on the red one, we want to do the bottom red and green overlap down here and just colour that in red. Okay, so now we've got our linked Olympic rings. And they're looking pretty good. We will need to highlight them all again once we've done that. I'm going to go back to the Pathfinder tool. And this time, we're going to go to the Merge option, which is the third option here. Okay, you may need to press it twice to get it working, but once you've got it working, that all becomes one big shape and we can move around. Last step now, while we've got this selected, we need to put a stroke on it. So select white as your stroke colour, and instead of one point, we're going to up the size to about four point. When you click off now, you'll see you've got your Olympic Rings logo. 